In this video, we will continue to introduce some of the applications under the Receive main menu. GFX EQ GISAC is a WFM audio receiving application with excellent equalizer functions. During the use of this application, we can set the frequencies you want to receive, as well as set the corresponding AMP, LNA, VGA, and volume. This mood can change the color of the audio fluctuation. WeFax the WeFax application is capable of receiving broadcast information from any high-altitude weather station and decoding the transmission content of the analog weather fax maps. When we enter WeFax from here, we can see the following parameters. Frequency, AMP, LNA, VGA, and volume. This LPM represents the number of lines displayed per minute with options of 60, 90, 100, 120, 180, and 240. There are two IOC modes, namely IOC 576 and IOC 288. Most weather forecasts are sent in the form of IOC 576. The transmission frequency of WeFax, weather fax, is HF so the reception signal will depend on the propagation time. If you don't know the best time to receive certain signals, you can query this website. You can see the received signals and their decoding on WeFax. The signal you receive depends on the time of the day and your location. If everything goes well, the chart you receive will be very similar to a topographic map and you will see many curves and lines. Detector The detector application is built upon the level application and enables us to quickly monitor the signals of LoRa, remotes, and Tetra up devices. It will conduct continuous monitoring as quickly as possible. If a certain frequency meets the threshold condition, the device will emit a short beep Entering detector, we can set the LNA, VGA, amp and volume. We can also select the signals we want to receive, including LoRa, remotes, and Tetra Up. BIP is an adjustable rotary encoder threshold used for level monitoring. TPMSRX TPMS is a tire pressure monitoring system that can operate within the ISM frequency band without requiring a license. In most regions, 315 MHz is used. When we enter the PMS application, we can set the frequency, choose the unit of pressure as KPA or PSI, and also select the unit of temperature as Celsius or Fahrenheit. Of course, we can also set AMP, LNA, VGA, and volume. When a signal is captured, the specific data will be displayed on the screen. TP refers to the type of tire sensor. It should be noted that TPMs does not support certain types of tire sensors. ID refers to the ID of the tire sensor. Pre is the tire pressure value. Temp is the tire temperature. CNT is the number of messages received by TPMs from each sensor. Flags is information about the tire sensor, but it is only applicable to Schrader models. It is particularly important to note that when you use the TPMs application, you need to be in an area with a lot of vehicles and the vehicles must be moving at a certain speed. Protoview. In simple terms, Protoview is a frequency monitoring system that provides us with a visual representation of the frequency. When we enter the Protoview application, we can set the frequency to the one we want to monitor and also configure AMP, LNA, VGA, and volume. We can choose the 315 MHz frequency for monitoring, as shown on the screen. We can see the frequency jumping wildly. Reset can reset the frequency view. When pause is pressed, 
it can pause the frequency to facilitate a better viewing. Meanwhile, Shift can move the frequency image, and Zoom can enlarge or reduce the frequency image. When Resume is pressed, the image resumes its oscillation. Scanner the scanner application can scan approximately 20 different frequencies. After readjustment, it takes about 50 milliseconds for it to stabilize. Key scanner will stop scanning on any frequency with a strong signal. And once it finds a frequency with a sufficiently strong signal, it will conduct additional millisecond level analysis to confirm that the signal still exists. When we enter this application, we can set LNA VGA amp comma dot volume, bandwidth and squelch level. When the pause function is not enabled, the noise suppression level determines the minimum signal strength at which the scanner will pause during scanning or searching. When a strong signal is detected, if paused for any reason, the noise suppression level also determines whether the audio output is on or muted. WASA and WSL are delay settings. WASA is the waiting time when the signal is activated. When the waiting time is over, the scanner will automatically jump to the next frequency. When the value of WASA is zero, the timer will be disabled and the frequency will not jump. WSL is the waiting time after the signal loss. When the strong signal is below the noise suppression threshold, the scanner will remain at this frequency for the specified number of seconds and then jump to the next frequency. The interface will display the frequency that is currently being scanned. When the number is displayed in gray, it indicates the scanning state. When the number is yellow, it means the program is analyzing possible signals. When the number is green, it indicates that a sufficiently strong signal has been found. The load function can read the list of scanned frequencies or search range from the file. The MCLRA function will clear the frequencies in the temporary scanning memory. The switch function allows you to switch between scanning and searching modes. The mode function can select AM, NFM, and WFM. You can adjust the frequency step size using the step function. The pause button allows you to pause or resume the scanning frequency. The reverse button is used to change the scanning direction. Audio and mic TX can be used to enter the corresponding applications for further analysis. DELFQ means deleting the current displayed frequency value from the scanning memory and ADDFQ means adding the current frequency to the scanner TXT file. NRF NRF is a low-power, low-cost transceiver operating within the 2.4 GHz frequency range. It is mainly used in devices such as remote controls keyboards, and mice, as well as general low-power communication. With this application, you can use a portable package to decode the data sent by the NRF24L01 transmitter and view some data information. Currently, it only supports the 250KPS mode. In the NRF application, we can view some data. On the interface, we can set frequency, AMP, LNA and VGA click modem setup and hear the preset values for the modem include Bell 202 Bell 103 V21 V23 M1 and V23 M2 we can set baud rate mark space and serial format in the received data Address refers to the destination receiving address or source sending address of the data packet. It depends on the type of the packet and is usually presented as a 5-byte hexadecimal value. Data is the actual application data carried by the data packet. 
This is the core information that the sending device intends to transfer to the receiving device. It is displayed as a series of hexadecimal bytes. However, its specific meaning entirely depends on the upper layer application and device that generated this data packet.